Hi golf friends. Let's talk about warming up. Any person who wants to perform has to warm up. It doesn't matter what sport it is. I've never seen a sprinter just going into the block and starting running and, and do the sprint immediately when it counts. They're all warming up for it. Same thing in golf. Why do we have to warm up? Because you have to get the body uh, ready for performance. And uh, that means if the body is warm, then the chemical reactions in the body are moving much faster. You can swing the club much faster and you get the sort of body feeling already and the timing to hit the golf shots required. So ideally, yes, you go to the practice facilities on your golf course and uh, start warming up. Ideally with the putting, you know, because then you already start feeling the club and uh, the ball, um, you get the feeling for uh, short movement and then you do some chip shots, some pitch shots, half swings. But uh, if you don't have that time and uh, you still want to play a few holes quickly, um, then there are short possibilities as well. And that's what I wanted to show you now. Um, very important is that you get the blood flowing in the first place. So jump around a little bit if you can, um, just to create um, the feeling the body has to do some action. So then uh, if you can turn the arms a little bit, that's also good. So you actually create the blood flow in your body and your whole body becomes aware that you want to do some movement. Now with this, I have two clubs. You can stretch a little bit. Stretching as well, very important. If you take a, a gum and uh, put it in the fridge, then pull the gum and it will break very quickly. If you put it next to the oven, and it's warm and you can stretch it very long. It's the same with your muscles. If they are warm, then you can uh, stretch them and that's what you can do after warming up a little bit with your uh, body just jumping around a little bit. Now, if you want to stretch, first of all, try to get your forearms a little going right, left, right, left, as well with the left side. Then also put the clubs up, turn a little sideways, a little sideways here, yes, that's good. Very important is as well that you start breathing. You must inhale and exhale while you go into the maximum position. Inhale and exhale and a little faster. Very good. As well, a little upper body turn. Turn the upper body against the lower body. Okay. Yes. Okay, then the back muscles. Just make sure that the back muscles get stretched a little bit as well. So you see the right elbow comes forward. The clubs stay at my body. So just the right elbow comes, will stretch the back muscles for you, both sides. Right, left. That's good. Also, you have to be flexible in your hips. The better the flexibility, the faster you can move. So maybe you see this, you remember this from skiing, just jumping around to warm up your hips, your knees, your feet. So that is a good exercise to warm up the lower body. Shake it out, that's good enough. I think this is very good. 
if I have very little time, and sometimes if I go to, have to go on the golf course with uh, students very quickly, at least I do one exercise. I grab my two wedges. You see, I have the two wedges here. I grab the two wedges, grip them together, and simulate very slowly first my golf swing. Also, good breathing, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and a little faster. So I do this about 10 times slowly and 10 times a little faster. And after that, you will see if you put one club down and swing the one club, it feels like nothing. The body has been ready, has been prepared for the action. It feels soft, it feels, you're ready to move now. The muscles are stretched, so you have warmed up your relevant golf muscles. Try this, at least the last uh, exercise you should do every time before you play, and you will see how much better you start your round of golf by warming up a little bit. Thank you for listening. Give us a sum up if you like it or subscribe to the Dr. Golf Pro Tips channel and we see you soon again. Thank you. For more information on the mental game, look for my book Mental Keys for Golf Success at Amazon.com. 